I just turtle commentating when it's round one in Jenna versus TFO. All right. DDD versus Wolf feels like it'd be really bad for DDD. Uh, but let's see what TFO has to offer. All right. Starting out with a classic laser, getting behind the quarter. Down throw, dash tech, not going to be true just yet. Ooh. Liz being able to reflect, reflect that Gordo is going to be some big damage for TFO. He's going to be looking for a lot of reflectors with that neutral B. All right. Back air, back air, walling him out with these back airs, trying to keep him away. This is the main game that he's going to be trying to play. It's keeping Wolf as far away from him as possible, because if he can't, he's going to be taking a lot of damage. See that heavy, and Wolf is a combo character. Oh, he's off stage. This is far. Yeah. Okay. TFO, fresh new stock. And gonna try to play the wall game. TFO is getting in and he's getting a lot of damage for it. 32 right now. Alright, not gonna protect it. Attention, there's situations where he's in neutral and he's just drifting away. Waiting for TFO to come at him and then neutral leading. And it's in that like small thing though. Good uptail from TFO. Uh, it's in those exchanges where like Complete roll reversal. DDD's chasing down and Wolf's trying to keep uh, DDD away. Ooh. Nair hit the board a little too soon, not gonna reflect it. Nair dodging to get back to stage, barely doing it. Up tilt, up air. TFO's gotta be careful here. He is at kill percent to a lot of things that Wolf has to offer. Beautiful life trap, just nares. And forward smash gonna take it. Alright. This is really hard for DDD, especially since Wolf doesn't really have to approach. You can just sit back and hold. Shoot out later. Lasers. And still, if DDD tries to get in, combos will be big. Not the best get up attack. Beautiful reflect. Ninja is gonna try to keep him in the corner. Lasers. Tifo is flying out of it. Oh, oh no. Ninja could possibly lose the stock to it. The earliest Wolf can lose stock to is off stage. Getting edge guarded is one of Wolf's biggest weaknesses. And DDD has a really big hammer. Maybe a little easier time doing that. That side beat put him on the platform. And then TFO just side beat catch it. Alright. Footstool. I'm gonna make TFO miss the up air. I'd love to see the gamer tech. Okay, looking for that dash attack two frame. Ooh, could have been it for that could have been it for Nintendo. TFO gonna miss the punish. Got him in his belly. Okay, again, off stage. It's gonna be really scary. He almost had that. What is that? That's definitely a missing foot. Oh, I don't think he has a jump. Right, not gonna get a capitalization. In the corner forward tilt's definitely not gonna do it just yet. This is a this is a scary situation. It's only game one. We only got game one here, and it's this close. This scary, the two frame with the forward tilt gonna take it. By the end there, it seemed like TFO was starting to get the hang of the matchup a little better. Uh, but in the beginning, Nintendo looked like he had that. So at no point in this match did you ever count out TFO, because he is showing that he has that comeback material. Okay, Kalos. Not going not gonna to have a lot of uh, platforms for Wolf to go to. Oh, we got a character switch. Snake. Snake versus DDD. This is a matchup. Alright, Nintendo gonna try to opt to camp more, I guess? Because I don't feel like Snake can really scrap with DDD that well. He got that big hammer. Uh, but we're gonna see what he makes of it. Alright, oh yeah, he's already starting camping. Jeez. 
That down air combo in both the Gordo and DDD. That was a beautiful landing. Not enough snakes fake going high and then just land. I feel like I hardly ever see that. Oh. There's grenades all around him. He's scared. Oh, Nintendo. Oh, God. That's scary. DDD dash attack is one of the worst scary moves in the game. It's bad, but it's scary bad. Because if you get hit by that, you are dying at 60, maybe 70. All right. He's ever setting up a wall. He's going to get hit. This DDD goes in. This DDD can go in really well. Oh, there? Where? Nowhere. All right. Coming back off stage. Up in the air. He reverses to landing. Classic. Oh, parry the grenade. He needs, he's trying to get these... Deep. Okay, I'm not starting to see uh, how this pick might not have been amazing for the snake, considering he's not going to be able to get a lot of these up smash edge guards that snakes really need. That snakes really get a lot off of. Go ahead and back at him. He's so, this is the scariest spot. It's Snake at the other side of the stage just chucking grenades and there's a C4 in the middle of the stage. You're not dead for that. Okay, I know. He's got the good DI. In the air. Good fake recovery. He's stuck. He's alive, though. Both these characters last hit. Second stock, though. Not last hit. C4 didn't kill that. Surprise. You all right? The reflector. That neutral V is the goofiest reflector in this game. He just sucks that in, spits it right back out. Go in, dash attack. He's gonna get him off stage. Alright, spinning Gordo right back. Right now, TFO does not have to come in at all. He's just playing it safe. Playing it slow. Trying to get the snake to engage. That C4 is gonna do it. Basically, last stock. I kind of like that combo. It was really simple, but I really like that Gordo to forward it. Oh, I mean, almost, he almost crossed him up, so that would have been an interesting, uh, interesting command grab. No, I, I don't know. With the back airs or something? I mean, right now it's looking like DDD favor, but the thing is, like, off one hit, Snake can get a lot of damage. Depends on how he gets this hit and what type of hits he gets to possibly convert off it. He's just staying back. This snake is just staying back, trying to get as much damage as he can. Before DDD can net this kill. Right. The snakes are doing a really good job of just messing up uh, TFO's edge guards with uh, our ledge traps with the Gordo because they just get him out of there. Uh, I see I see why. Uh, one of the possible reasons why Ninjendo would have picked Snake here. And this is scary. Back there and you're dead. Up to also a really powerful and quick kill move. Great set. Great game too, TFO. Uh, I feel like the work Wolf was working a little better for Nintendo. I wonder if you're going to see a switch back, possibly. Um, plus, probably depends on stage counter pick, maybe. Stage is thinking. Maybe a bigger stage. Okay, taking it back to be too smart, smart. I don't want to too small on stage against DDD just because that hammer is big. And a big hammer on a small stage is going to cover a lot of ground. Oh, yeah, taking it back to the wall. PS2. Oh. Now we got Salty joining in. All right. Yo. How's it going? All right. Come here. I, I hear him. All right. I think I'm. All right. Okay. We're, all right. We're, hi, guys. I'm here as well. Hello. Um, I missed what happened in that game one, but I, it looks like TFO managed to take it with the DP. Oh, game two. It's even right now. 1-1. One, one. Kind of crazy. I was low-key expecting uh, Ninjendo to just take this because Wolf D to such a hard matchup. But game two, he switches to Snake. Not as easy for him. 
All right. Oh, got him off stage. Wolf off stage. Not where you want to be. Also, Gordo right at the ledge covering get up. Normal get up. You can get down smash off of it. Gotta be scared of these. Yeah. yeah, those DDD ledge traps are one of the strongest suits as a character. Oh, yeah. And it feels like that's where this matchup is going to be made or break. Whatever. Made or broken. But at 173%, HGFO is actually looking pretty healthy. DDD, the hit, hardest character to kill off the top. Oh, yeah. And Nintendo still, nonetheless, throwing out these up airs, that sort of thing. Look at him, he's living. I feel like the laser, that's going to do a lot. Beautiful two frame with the forward tilt. The lasers aren't going to be doing that much in this matchup since uh, DDD has the lead. And he can just comfortably sit back and just wait. He has Gordos, he has things can, to contest while stamping. So where he's really going to get this damage and he'll really get an advantage is when he's coming in. One thing that you can do being a little bit better of right now, though, with his landing, but that doesn't mean that he's good at doing it. Oh, um, yeah. You know, he has a big body, shielding neutral airs. Of course, the mix-up is if he comes down with an inhale. Just like that, he was anticipating yeah. it, though. Ooh. All right, and there's it, ledge. That's the guard in the game. All right. And back, Gordo's going to be huge damage. Looking for that up tilt. That up tilt kills it incredibly early, and it's incredibly fast. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He it feels like he can't be Gordo-wing at that mid-range. The front of Blaze was too much. There it is. Reading the wall with the back air, he's not out of it. This is basically even. A lot of wolves just stray hits will kill. Don't so be oh, I'm sorry. Just, I, I, whenever I see somebody shielding at the ledge against the DDD, I panic. Because Ooh. the sucking cuck is always on the table. Always. I haven't seen TFO go for it, but it's always something to try to keep in the back of your mind. Oh, jeez. That wouldn't have been it, but it was still terrifying. Get my bell. Back throw is still not enough to do it. This character is heavy. He ate his breakfast today. He's uh, actually managing to kill him off the top with that up air. But now Nintendo doesn't have any stock lead that I think he was hoping for. And he immediately takes him. Yes, at 69% already. And that is at death percent against DD. Definitely, definitely. These landing nair combos with DDD are some of my favorite to watch. They're just so goofy. He just flops on you and then gets a hammer million percent off of it. In the corner, not going to tech that. Going to eat a down smash for it. Oh, sense have evened up right now. That's kind of a bit advantageous for TFO, but at the same time, Wolf's kill power can never be underestimated. Is that going to do it? It more than does. TFO takes the set. And that's the first 2-0 comeback. Yeah.